All right, ever wondered how you can set up some screening on your Shortel, Mitel Connect phone system to stop nuisance callers, particularly salespeople, people who called you on a regular basis that you've expressed no interest in that tend to call. You can do, um, you know, send a voicemail, but it piles up the voicemail in your mailbox. Uh, and you really, again, it's unsolicited calls. Um, sometimes it's from the government telling you that you've, uh, you know, uh, it's a fraudulent call from the government telling that you, uh, are, you've got an error with your taxes, uh, stuff like that. So here's how you do it. So a couple things we're going to do. Identify the number. Once you've identified the number, we're going to create a route point. Now the nice thing about this is once you've identified the number, you can create this rule multiple times and use your existing um, call flow, which is creating a route point, creating an auto tenant with a silent recording, and then setting up your rules to forward those calls. So let's start off. So number one, we're going to go into my uh, short tell, um, and I'm going to go into or my, my tell connect director. I'm going to go to route points. All right, here is my route point. It's called No Messages, extension 150. And yes, route points can actually have a voice message, a voice mailbox. And if you are not aware, that voice mailbox doesn't cost a license. But it does come with some challenges, which we'll discuss later. So in routing, I'm going to always forward this call to voicemail. So if I decided just to call in to extension 150 right now, no messages may be taken for this mailbox. No messages may be taken. Now that's great. The only problem is if someone's calling your extension directly and it forwards to you know to this route point 150, it is going to try and go into your actual extension mailbox. And what we have to do is we have to break that connection. So the next thing we're going to take a look at on our list, you can find my list, is we're going to take a look at. We create a route point, now we're going to create an auto tenant. Okay. Before you create that auto tenant, you need to find a silent recording file to upload. And we'll look at that next. So now I've opened up the auto tenant. I've created an auto tenant called extension 151 forward no messages. Now all I'm going to do here is in my on hours, obviously I'm going to make this private because I don't want anybody in the organization um, seeing it in their communicator client. But on my on hours, first thing I'm going to do is set my timeout to zero seconds, zero milliseconds. Because what happens in the auto tenant is the default greeting, unless you upload one, plays, then it has this many milliseconds before it times out. So this is why we're going to import the blank message. So I already have the blank silence message created. So I would import this in now. So what happens is when you call extension 151, it plays silence for like half a second and then times out immediately. And then what I want to do is I want to time out to the row point 150. Now, you may ask, why don't I just take a message? If I set this to take a message to extension 150, uh, and hit save, what happens is it's an invalid extension because a row point, you can't, first of all, it knows that you probably don't, um, Listen, you just can't do it. So the reality is what I have to do is I have to say go to extension 150 and then it's going to forward. So now if, for me to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call extension 151. No messages may be taken for this mailbox. Okay, so it basically forwarded to and then uh, went to extension 151, blank, silent, file, wave file, timed out and went to extension 151. So now we take a look at our list. Okay, we got an auto tenant site recording file. Now let's set up our routing rules. Now, uh, luckily I did this earlier and what we'll do is here go into my name, my extension, and I've got my number here. So what I did was under my power route, power. So what I did was under my power routing rules, I've got my cloud phone number um, and I wrote it in here. So I add when the number matches this number, forward the call to forward messages, extension 151, which is the auto tenant. I'm gonna save that rule and I'm gonna disable it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna change this so it saves. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it from my cloud phone. I'm gonna call my DID. And it should be ringing on my phone. Here we go. It's ringing on my phone, great. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this. And this is what you're going to do for those who are calling and uh, calling you, leaving messages, calling you to buy products you don't want. And now I'm going to call this number back. And what you should see is it should go straight to voice or no voicemail. New messages may be taken for this mailbox. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling and hangs up. So what you see is I didn't get a call here. It didn't show up my voicemail and that rule has been enabled. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up these nuisance call blockers or the way to take calls and forward it to somewhere else. Like I said, I may have not mentioned this, but my coworker, Henry, he had set this up to forward to the do not call list number. So every time somebody called, it would forward to the do not call list. Um, the other thing you can do is have fun with this and the auto tenant record the greeting saying, I've added you to my do not call list. Thank you. And then it can continue on. So have fun with it.